Hey, 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 what's up, my snoopers? It's your girl, Tony Michelle, aka Fat Girl Snoop. And as promised, I am here on this Thursday. Thursday. I hope everybody had a great week so far. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for Friday because this weekend I am going to do what? me okay okay can i get an eight man in the back okay okay um so if you are a brand new snooper welcome 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 to my channel um you can catch me here now every thursday where we're just gonna have a kiki about you know the latest topics that ran across my desk you know what i'm saying so you know if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe because i always tell you guys it does wonders for my podcast as well as this channel and i'm telling you guys i am trying to what make it out here in these youtube streets and i cannot do that without you but for my a1 and day one snoopers um hey you know i i see you i see you guys out there i actually want to shout a particular two out i do want to shout out first uh uh, my homegirl q i hope that you are listening you know you are you are a definitely a snooper listening listener and if you are listening girl i just want to tell you that i love you and you know I, you got me in your prayers and i you know you already know okay you already know and also i want to shout out my girl ray ray if you are listening girl i've no matter what I do, like you are, you have been like one of like my greatest, greatest supporters. Now I'm just shouting these two out. Now it's plenty of you guys out there. So please don't take offense to this, but you know, they know what I'm talking about. Okay. But um, for my other snoopers, thank you so much for you guys' support. And uh, yeah, so don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I mean, I love to hear all sizes. You know, this is just my two cents with Fat Girl Snoop, but I also want to hear your two cents. So, you know, feel free. We can all agree to disagree. Well, let's catch up, okay? So, uh, you know... Oh gosh, when's the last time I came up on here? I believe it was the Thursday before Thanksgiving. Um, I had a great Thanksgiving, um, great food, great laughs, um, very, very relaxed, uh, super, 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 super chill. Uh, I'm, you know, my family is from Jamaica, so you know, we I didn't grow up um with Thanksgiving, like the only thing we really celebrated is the fact that we were off of work and we didn't have to work. Okay. That's the only thing we were celebrating. But um we we didn't have like the 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 whole turkey bit and all that, you know. You know, it was always like an island spin on it. So I pretty much took that tradition and rolled that into my tradition so I could pass it down to um my girls. But anyways, it, how was your guys's Thanksgiving? Um, and then I actually uh, tried the Black Friday thing that was real. <laughs> that was such an issue. I would never, ever, ever do that again. Okay, I now I'm officially an online shopper because I did. I, you know. Walmart, you guys, I didn't have a problem with you guys. You guys was okay. I got what I needed out of Walmart, but Target, Target was a complete issue. They didn't have any 
thing that I saw that I wanted on their Black Friday list. They didn't have anything, any of those things in stock in the store. And I pretty much waited 45 minutes for absolutely nothing. Target, you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, but I did end up ordering everything online. So <sighs> It is what it is, but hey, I this is my favorite time of the year. Um, but I could definitely promise you guys, I am not uh, going Black Friday shopping in the stores again. Okay, never again, right? Um, but yeah, so you guys let me know how you guys' holiday was, and um, you know, but you know, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving isn't my holiday. My holiday is Christmas. I am a Christmas girl. Okay. Cause I love decorating. I love the lights. I love the tree and my tree is ap- is actually black. Okay. Cause I'm absolutely terrified. Okay terrified of real trees okay because i don't want any critter crawling stuff coming out of the trees i'm i'm not built like that so yes i do have an artificial tree and i did not want a regular green tree so i invested in a beautiful black tree um that is decorated to for my grandson um, because my grandson is actually coming here for the holidays and i am like super 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 excited to spend this time with him but um so let me know your guys's like christmas tradition like are are you like me because i put my christmas trees um uh, up like either the day after Thanksgiving or at least after like the, that weekend after Thanksgiving. So do you guys do that out there? Or you guys, when do you guys put up your Christmas tree? Let me know, put that in the comments. Okay. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I mean, we've been getting, um, bad news, um, left and right. I mean, we got the Avant family, um, house getting broken into and somebody killing the, 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 the what's he was a producer or director. Like they, I, I believe I seen him in the movie, um, in, in the movie before. Uh, but yeah, but they, they went in and, you know, you know, killed his wife. And, um, then we have, um, so my condolences will go out to them. And then we have Tiffany Haddish and Carmen breaking up. Uh, you know, neither one of them spoke out publicly yet about it, but allegedly it was because they were never um in the same space, meaning the same state. So I guess absence doesn't make a heart go stronger. Um personally I just think Common is not the type of guy to commit. Now, I'm not saying that I know Common, but, you know, I'm just saying based on his track record, you know, he's pretty much, you know, get what he gets and, you know, and the way he gets bored with you, it's a wrap. You know, it's, it's that it's not me. It's it's just you. I mean, it's, I mean, <laughs> no, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. But yeah. So, you know, but I can't say that, you know, I am completely bash or bash common because I believe I have a little common in me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, when I'm excited about something, like I'm completely excited about it. Like I'm, I'm gun ho. I'm all in 10 toes in 10 fingers in. I am in full body in, but then when I get bored, I get bored. And then, you know, of course, you know, feelings don't go away. But then if it's like an ongoing thing, them feelings just get less and less and less. And after that, I just be like, mm, this ain't it, bro. <laughs> this is not it. And I just, I just move on. And I'm also the type that once I move on, I don't look back. I do not look back. 
I stay forward. Is there any of you like that too? Let me know what you guys think in, you know, in the comments. Um, what else we had going on? We had a whole bunch of, um, oh, Kanye and Kim. Kanye, you know, says that he is, you know, relying on God to get his him and his family back together. Um, and, you know, while Kim is, you know, out there gallivanting with Pete Davidson. And I believe she's probably doing that. She's probably going on that side of the world because she sees her uh, sister, uh, Courtney, with the rocker dude, Travis um, Barker, who I love them as a couple, by the way. And, you know, she, I believe that that's the only reason why, because we all know Kim, Kim don't like that side of the world. We know that. We, we know that she might, she might dip and dab, but she always goes back to the chocolate. Okay. Who agrees with me out there about that? You know, she, you know, she, she's just playing around for now. But who, would you guys think that Kim will go back with Kanye? Let me know your, your thoughts in the comments. I just think she's having fun. She's basically torturing the man. Then... Um, we had the designer Virgil who, um, act, uh, lost his fight with cancer. Um, he was a, um, black designer for Louis, Louis Vuitton. Um, so we lost the fashion icon as well. I mean, it, it was just a whole bunch of stuff going on, but let's talk about the real Tay, 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 Tay. Okay, so I do not know if you guys were keeping up with the mayor, the the mayor um candidate. What it is? Uh, election in Atlanta. I really want to move to Atlanta. <laughs> if there's anybody listening that lives in Atlanta. Y'all let me know the TT because I believe that is my next destination. Um, but anyways, so unfortunately, um, Mayor Keisha Bottoms would um she is she did not rerun. Um, so we had a couple of candidates that will run. Hold on for one second, guys. Because you guys know I am a one woman show. Let me get this together for you guys. There we go. So, and let me tell you guys, ATL got a fun, a nice looking uh, man. Ladies, he is tall. He is absolutely chocolate. And uh, his name is Andre Dickens. I'm about to show you guys a picture of him in one second. Because y'all know I am a one woman show. A one woman show. Ew. All right. Ladies, do you see this man? His name is Andre Dickens. Atlanta got a mayor named Dre. Oh, my goodness. Ladies, isn't he handsome or not? Nah? But he was battling against this lady. Now, we're going to talk about T.I. And the fact that T.I. actually dragged the, in my opinion, sore loser who lost the, the, who lost the um, election. She was a sore loser. She ran to TMZ, 
um, you know, went, 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 went crying. Now, I don't know if you guys kept up with it, but this, her name is, uh, what is her name? Uh, Felicia Moore. Felicia Moore. She was, she was the one that was campaigning, saying that if she became the mayor of Atlanta, uh, she will close all the strip clubs, uh, all the music studios, um, will have to get a permit. Now, when I don't know what she was thinking in her mind when she, you know, came out and said about the strip clubs. That's why, um, a, that's why a lot of women and men moved to Atlanta for the strip clubs. The same um people miss more that 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 you work around th those businessmen in them tight suits and the white ties and i mean excuse me and the ties and you know all that these are also the same men who love the strip club <laughs> so did you actually think that you was going to get far with that where basically Atlanta, um, the strip life was built. I mean, excuse me, uh, what that is, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, ATL, we, what well, we got magic city to me, which is a, uh, what that is a, um, a state, um, what is a uh, where uh uh oh gosh why can't I talk today? Um what 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 do you call that when a um it should be a like like they can't tear it down type them. But anyways, so you know she actually threatened to um close down the strip clubs. So, of course, you know, the people went with the next best thing, which was um, Andre Dickens. So he was the winner. And instead of her, you know, calling up Dre and saying, <laughs> I call him Dre, saying, hey, you know, congratulations on the win or, you know, making her public statements about, um, you know, saying that on her platform, congratulating the guy. No, she runs over to TMZ and basically goes after T.I. and um, Isaac Hayes' son, whose also name is Isaac Hayes. So this is what she said to TMZ. Let's take a look. Let's pull this up. Let's take a look. Hold on. Oh, hold on, Miss Bottom. Oh, hold on. I was running, and uh, Mr. T.I., who I would have thought should have learned his lesson from jumping on me when I was running earlier, because that it got him in a fight with someone else that opened up the whole series of allegations that he has in front of him. So he should learn to stay out of politics. So she is basically saying that T.I. and um, Isaac Hayes III sabotaged her, her election, her winning the election. Um, because according to her, they spread it false. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, because apparently um, she says that they basically was spread around fake news about her. And she says that um, that even included when it came to the strip clubs. 
Um, she told TMZ that T.I. and Hayes have been spreading lies about her and her proposed policies, which likely helped to tip the scales against her in the final days leading up to Election Day. And now, okay, she's calling them out over it and thinks others should two okay now um according to uh miss moore she said the misinformation um that was spread it uh you know ti shared that on his page and um uh, well we um and um isaac hayes the third he shared it on his page uh that was an article that was that you know i was just talking about that um a woman running for atlanta mayor proposes to close all strip clubs now neither tip nor hayes um who is we, we all know the son of the late legend isaac hayes um um so now she's saying that that clip of the article started the tumble effect and it spread it like worldwide or you know nationwide and it including the people in atlanta to which it mattered the most and because of social media that spread it like wildfire she was basically set up by ti and Isaac Hayes the third. Um, now the article, um, it was a out of out of the context clip of more. Yeah, now it was not a current clip. It was um something that she said a few years ago, um, where um she was talking about having um special permits in certain businesses. Um, and that had absolutely nothing to do with the strip clubs. Um, she said it was actually about the recording studios. Um, she says that she never mentioned the strip clubs during the campaign and T.I. was well aware, um, when he showcased that bogus headline. So she claims that T.I. was into this, um, into this election he was uh he was silent but he was into the, into the election and you know as we saw he really does endorse he it really like endorsed andre dickens okay um she also said that the rapper has been outspoken against her um so she sees this just as another attempt to bring her down and to make her look bad. Now, seeing how, you know, she lost, Moore says that it appears T.I. and Hayes' efforts worked and she's calling them, she's calling them out on their BS, basically. Now, T.I. actually responded to Moore um, early this morning and I am going to play a little clip of it because after all, it is like 13 minutes. Um, but uh, you guys are going to get the gist of it. Just one moment. Let me get that up for you guys. Uh, and I can't believe I'm taking up for two. Um, but Tip had time today. Okay, he had time today. Okay, I want to make sure you guys see my screen. Uh, uh, all right, he's getting his tea ready, y'all. I mean. <laughs> Leisha Moore. Man, get up. It was about self. Get up. Just get up. So I did. And the first thing I see is TMZ and Miss Felicia Moore saying that uh <laughs> that me and Isaac Hayes the third 
cost her the election due to misinformation, right? Um, first thing, how can she totally negate all, like, everything that happened outside of, okay, if, if you're saying you didn't really plan to shut down the strip clubs, whatever, that's old news, ma'am. It's over. It's over. It's over with, man. Um, whether you want to shut down strip clubs, studios, hookah balls, whatever it is, man, what you did was you lost sight of one thing. This culture, the creatives in this city, we run this town. We do. And we need someone in the, and the citizens of a city make the decisions of who should lead that city. All right. Um, now, I got a chance to watch the video. And another thing that I, that was interesting. Another thing that was interesting was she say uh, that celebrities shouldn't even be involved in politics. That sounds eerily similar to, hey, how you doing? All right, top of the top to you. Y'all almost finished? Yes. Oh. Okay, okay. okay. All right, I'll check on you in a minute. Um, <laughs> anyway, another thing that was, so that sounds eerily similar to uh, when when people say said to LeBron to shut up and dribble. Right? You see, it's that very energy is the spirit of that type. The tone of that is the reason why you aren't fit to sit in the seat of the mayor of Atlanta. You don't understand. You don't understand. You dig? We run this town. All of the business that comes to this city, all of the people who decide to move to this city, the tourism dollars, all of that comes from our culture. We were here first. Anyone who doesn't acknowledge that or who, who can't hold that in high regard is not fit to sit in the seat of the mayor of Atlanta. Now I wish her the best and I hope she finds a position that she's better suited for, but it was not this. It simply was not. You were out of touch. You do not understand. You can't come into a city that was built by a, a host of creatives and, 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 and say that you know, and expect to run that city and don't think that these creatives will get involved. Ma'am, ma'am, you're intelligent enough to know better than that, ma'am. Uh, I just, uh, another thing that was interesting, another thing that was interesting about her video that's on TMZ.com. You can go get it. It ain't, you know, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing that uh, I'm making up just to make sure that my facts are correct this time. Um, at the end of your video, what you said was T.I. should have learned his lesson about interfering 
in politics because earlier this year, he said something about me and my plans to, I'm gonna say shut the studio down because that's what I see it as, to shut the studio down. After I, after I posted that, uh, he got into a back and forth with someone else and that's what caused all of his allegations that he's facing. Now you see, I always had, I knew that all that bullshit happened because y'all didn't want me to be involved in this particular election. And it almost worked because after it was over with, I said, I was done, bro. I said, man, I'm done. I ain't want to do it. I ain't even want to get involved. You know what I mean? And if you notice, I didn't get involved until the very end. But, ma'am, exactly what were fake, false allegations supposed to teach me, ma'am? Hmm. When y'all lied on me, I didn't call TMZ and go crying about it. I rolled my I rolled my ride out. I took mine. I carried my weight. Cause that's what I do. Yeah, you know I mean, I didn't go nowhere and say, "Look at what they doing to me." Come on, bro. But I just want y'all to see that because I knew I knew I just I wasn't armed with the information that I needed. But I'm going to tell you something. When I made that post, I reposted what Isaac Hayes posted about her, the legislation that would have issued, made people get permits to have studios. I posted that and I, with a message in my caption that says, um, the creatives run this town and you got to consider us and you need to respect that we run this town. After I posted that message, uh, after I made that post, the very next day, that woman who is a clear supporter of Felicia Moore, all through the campaign, even before the she announced that she was running, clear supporter of Felicia Moore. That's when she came out the very next day with all that bullshit. And if Felicia Moore had nothing to do with it, how would she know about it? If she had nothing to do with it, if it wasn't on her radar, why would she mention it in her own video? So now she is she suggesting, oh, we're going to we're going to do it again. So if 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 any at the blue allegations just happen to come up now. So this is, I mean. I'm a chess player, ma'am. I'm a chess player, ma'am. I, I, I ain't, uh, I'm not into, you know, just talking for no reason. I, I ain't into that. I think um, what would have been the gracious what would have been the thing to do of integrity was to get on there and congratulate Andre Dickens on a well-ran campaign because he really was, he, he, he got out there and got to the people more than you. He dealt with and addressed the concerns of the people in the streets. He knocked on doors. You, you did not show up to the only debate that was in Southwest Atlanta, which showed that you only care about the north side of town. You think people are so dumb and blind that they can't see through this rhetoric? <laughs> it's easy to just say it was because of the strip club. That's easy. But what about the fact that you served on city council for 24 years and not one of your fellow council members supported you. Not one, bro. I, in 24 years? Mm. So, but I do, I do 
wish the best for her, you know, uh, and I hope she finds a, a position somewhere that she's better suited for. But this ain't it. <laughs> so you guys heard what T.I. had to say. And I don't know if you guys was counting, but I was counting. T.I. dragged her without using. He only cussed two times during that whole thing. And he dragged her respectively. Okay. And to me, my two cents is she took that L like she, it was like real orange guy ish. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want the, you know, them folks to like flag my, my, uh, you know, our former leader. Okay. She's, 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 she's giving me that vibe. Instead of you congratulating the man that the people voted for, because when it comes down to it, it's about the people and who connected with the people. And the people, they wanted Dre. They didn't want Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I wonder, was that a slogan for uh, Dre's uh, 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 speech? Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Um, but yeah, so you know, to me, that kind of like that wasn't a good look, Miss Miss Moore, at all. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think that Ti and Isaac Hayes the third sabotaged the um ATL election? And if there's some ATL people out there, let me know what you guys think. I especially want to know what you guys think in the comments. Okay. Um, so, but let's move on. <sighs> Jesse Smollett. Uh, the, the panorama is ongoing, but it's not, it is not, the, the world has opened up, which means the courts have opened up. And it's time for Jesse Smollett to, you know, see his fate. But we're going to get into some tea about some stuff that's been ha what happened with him, which was to me like really, 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 really interesting. Um, now, so his 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 trial has started. And it is said that there is um, a surveillance tape of Jesse doing a dry run one day before the alleged hate crime attack. You guys remember that happened, like, I believe back in 2019, okay? Um, now, this is according to page six. Now, prosecutors, according to page six, contend the footage confirms that the actor faked the January 29th, 2019 alleged attack with those Nigerian brothers um, and Bimboa um Ola Bino. <laughs> I, listen, I might be going to pronounce this last names, okay? But y'all know, you know, that picture was circling around of them in the gym and they were all buff. Okay, okay, all right. Um, now they are, are soon going to take the stand. They have not took the stand yet, but word is that they are the prosecutor's star witnesses. Um, so um, I'm really interested to know exactly what these brothers are going to say, but the tea is over brewing on this stuff, right? Um, so Smollett's lawyers claim the actor was really attacked by the two brothers. So Smollett is sticking to his story. But all I got to say is I think he took that Jamal Lion role like to the core because I mean dude is straight lying Jamal lying you lying Jamal lying you are lying bro 
you're lying. But okay, I digress. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty, okay? So whether or not this is true about the surveillance footage, um, it, hopefully, you know, we'll we'll find out soon enough. Um, now, prosecutors um, poked a hole in his story. Um, they revealed a text message sent by Jesse to one of the siblings a couple of weeks after the alleged attack. Um, now, this was reported by the Chicago Tribune. And the text said, brother, I love you. Um, and it says, I stand with you. I know a thousand percent you and your brother did nothing wrong and never would. So Jesse's basically telling him, like, you know, we're going to get out of this. Like, you know, don't worry. You know, it's all going to work itself out. But hey, if, if you if you guys jump me, okay, because you hate my sexual preference, you think I give a rat's bleep and bleep. What you you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna send you a text to be comfort you to comfort you. Okay, again, I digress. Um, hold on for a second. I completely um. In case you don't know who um, Jesse Smollett is, here he goes. Jamal Lyon. You be lying. <laughs> this nigga took that to, he he made sure he lived up to his uh, namesake. What, what, what would uh, Lucius do? Um, so... The, the text continues. I am making this statement so everyone else knows they will not get away with this. Please hit me when they let you go. I am behind you fully. Um, this text came as the two brothers were questioning in the case. Were well, questioning um, in the case. Um, so, you know, Jesse wanted to find out, hey, basically, hey, sis, what's the tea? What y'all talking about? What the cops talking about? Like, don't worry. Like, I got your back. Like, I'm not going to say that it was you. Like, I got your back. I got your back. I got your back, player. Um, now, the, um, the Chicago police detective, <clears throat> his name is Michael Thies. Um, the first witness called to the stand. Um, called it unusual. He says, um, to this day, has Mr. Um, Smollett ever come clean about this hate crime? This is what he was he was asked by the Deputy Special Prosecutor Samuel Minhall. Min um, and the detective responded, not that I'm aware of. Um, the detective also said that Smollett was not forthcoming with investigators after it was reported that he was attacked by men using homophobic and racial slurs while they allegedly assaulted him, according to a report by Fox News. Now, this is this is why I would, you know, poke holes um, in the story. At the end of the day, these dudes were Nigerian. Um you know, and and before you know, you realize they're Nigerian. They are. They will appear to be African American. So, what were the racial slurs that these Nigerian men were um, yelling at Smollett as they was allegedly beating him up for being, you know, or you know, uh, the part of that LBT LBTG. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, part of the Rainbow Tribe. Um, or at least he paid one on TV. So I digress again. Just is just something about him. Like I just don't like it. I don't even know him. Um, now the detective also said a squad of about two dozen detectives logged some three thousand hours investigating the actors. Um, allegations. Um, the cops said uh, this was horrible. I mean, the crime was a hate crime, but a horrible hate crime. There was no, there was a noose, there was bleach, 
Um, it was local news. It was national news. Everybody wants to know what happened from the mayor on down. Everybody wanted answers. But, but the detective said that Smollett refused to give the cops his medical records or a DNA sample to compare the evidence at the scene. Um, the cop said, the detective said, at the end of the investigation, we are determined that the um, uh, the alleged hate crime was actually a staged um, event. Um, now, here's where the surveillance footage came in. Okay, the surveillance footage showed Smollett walking near the scene with the brothers a day earlier with the siblings seen taking a cab to a nearby neighborhood. The two men switched to an Uber and met up with Smollett. Um, and this was shown by the special prosecutor, Dan Webb. Um, this is what he told the jurors. They have this footage. Um, now the prosecutors contend that uh, Smollett paid the siblings. Th- now get this. This 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 is crazy. Now I don't know if these brother, these Nigerian brothers, were desperate for money. Um, they looked like they made enough money to could they could afford a gym membership because you know they, these these. You know, y'all saw the pictures, okay? Um, but you know, not only was this an an insult amount to me, okay, but this makes me even not like Smollett even more. Get this, guys. Smollett offered them three thousand five hundred dollars to do this bogus alleged hate crime attack. So if you do the math, that's what? 1700 split between. It's not even three. It's not even 3,500 for each brother. It is 3,500 period poo. Seven, like what? $1,700 and some change poo to carry some bleach with a, a, a noose allegedly and and Smollett made them do curtain calls <laughs> you know what I'm saying I mean damn, you could at least did 10 grand split it between come on you was making enough money on Empire to do that okay and that's just my opinion um now, the defense attorney um, told jurors that a real crime took place, claiming that the brothers attacked the actor because they did not like him as a as a person. So I guess they didn't like the fact that he was playing a gay man on TV, uh, which I find that mm, hard to believe, okay? Um, now Smollett faces three years in prison if he is convicted of staging the attack as a publicity stunt. Now, y'all remember they said that he did that basically because he felt like he was not getting enough money. So he decided, well, you know what? I, I, I'm going to show you guys what I'm, what I'm worth. And he just got caught out there, but I cannot wait to for them to show this footage of them doing this curtain call for this alleged hate uh, hate crime but let me know what you guys think in the comments because my opinion is it is not looking good for Jesse Jamal Lyon you be lying <laughs> Man, they got um what what what's the other actor's name? Um the one who played Hakeem, um Yaz, Yaz the greatest. Uh, I don't know what's going on with him because lately, you know, he's been, you know, off his rocker too a little bit. Like he is not that cute Hakeem line that we saw on Empire. Like he looked like he's just been going through something. He's been spitting on um workers at a at a at a convenience store, he's you know he 
he stared, said that he acts like a donkey, like when he's in public, allegedly. Uh, you know, allegedly, you know, he laid the smackdown on his girlfriend, allegedly, allegedly. You know, he's been in and out of jail. So I don't know. Like the, the only people left is Taraji and Terrence Howard. Um and of course, uh Nicole Byers. But you know, I miss Empire, but then again, I don't because you know, Empire was just getting like outrageous. <laughs> just outrageous. But let me know you what you guys think in the comments. All right. So lastly, we got to talk about some Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 behind the scenes tea. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm super happy that um, Marlo uh, did get her peach. She most definitely, definitely deserve it. Um um, uh, you know, the fact that, um, they lost some key housewives, um, they had to do something to, you know, shake the room. And I believe that's why they invited, um, Sheree back, um, because, uh, you know, she will most definitely shake the room. Now also her, um, there's some ish going on between her and her man, uh, apparently Sheree's new boo, who is currently out of prison, but he is basically like under some type of like house arrest. So he can't really be on camera. And, um, allegedly he is, he sent Bravo a ceased and assist letter telling them that he wants his name removed off of the, the upcoming show because he doesn't want you know the cameras to catch him out and then he gets in trouble with that po po officer you know what I'm saying and that is no joke you know it, it's basically you know his freedom on the line for a reality show and homeboy is just not with it but there is some other TTT going on in the ATL now, according to lovebscott.com, um, they, they, they start filming and it's already some drama going on right now. Um, there are a few brew, um, I'm excuse me, a few, um, feuds brewing behind the scenes um and allegedly we are going to see this unfold in front of cameras but what's what else is new okay now according to lovey scott um drew um and sheree they do not get along which to me is not surprising because, you know, Sheree probably went up in there like, hey, you know, I'm the OG. Nene's gone. Portia is gone. Cynthia is gone. Um, the only two that they have, the OGs, is um, Candy and Kenya. Um, so, of course, she is looking at Drew as Drew who? <laughs> Drew who? <laughs> Drew what? Now, not only it, are they saying that Drew and Sheree are not getting along, they're also saying that Drew and the other, this new newbie, um, Sonya Ross Richards, that they don't get along. And, but, um, Drew is, they're saying, kissing Kenya Moore's derriere and trying to be her friend now that Portia is out of the mix. So she's trying to develop some type of friendship with Kenya, in my opinion, for a storyline because don't get me wrong yes drew is a actress i would give her that but other than that she is pretty boring her storyline was 
boring. Okay. And, and it, you know, even the, the, the storyline with her husband traveling out of town or whatever, that was even boring. So I'm thinking that she wants to be Ken's friend for a storyline, which means what more camera time. Um, now speaking of Kenya, um, her and Marlo, we thought were good. Um, when the season ended on season 13, but according to Love B. Scott, they are not getting along this season. Of course, it has to be drama. Okay, it has to be drama. Um, now, and then, of course, we talked about the news that Sheree's boyfriend, you know, he sent that cease and assist, the sis there to Bravo, um, demanding that, you know, he will, he, you know, they take away all the footage that, that he's in. He doesn't want, when, even when Sheree mentions him, he, like, he does not want his name, image, anything on, on Bravo. Um, but the T behind that is, Allegedly, Bravo, aka Andy Cohen, is super pissed that Sheree is not going to deliver the storyline that she initially promised, um, but instead giving them a major headache so it sounds like Sheree at the end of the day um doesn't have anything going on either because why else would Andy Cohen be ticked off if she has something going on other than her boyfriend's stint release okay um they you know, in my opinion, you know, she played it smart. Uh, she signed the contract. Um, but I do believe this is going to cost her major, major screen time, which means she may get booed off yet again. But hey, time will tell. Time will tell. And again, those are rumors. Now, let me know what you guys think about that. Um... Let me know what you guys think about Drew. Like, I just believe she is most definitely um, licking Kenya's um, clitoris because um, not only is Portia gone, uh, but the other girl's gone to, uh, what's her name? The um, Toya, the one that, you know, says that she had a crush on, on Kenya. Yeah, so she's gone. So now, you know, she need that storyline, that drama. But let me know what you guys think about all that tea. And wow, guys, this hour went by so, 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 so fast. I thank you guys for listening. Um, and let me know what you guys think about um TI. Um, and um uh, uh, Hey, God, for a second, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me know your two cents on the T.I., the Isaac Hayes third situation and the Felicia Moore situation. Do you guys think that they sabotaged the ATL? Um, <sighs> sorry, I lost my phone. Um, um, the ATL votes, Okay. Or did the people just speak and she just a sore loser like the, our former leader? But I always say uh, that's y'all former leader because, you know, mine is still the Obamas. Okay. All right. Can I get an amen? Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> and what do you guys think about this Jesse Smollett situation? Do you guys think that um he's gonna have his goose cooked and are you guys waiting for that um footage i am waiting we saw the footage of what allegedly happened yeah we saw that footage i want to see the curtain call okay that's the word i want to see so let me know your guys two cents on that 
And um, let me know what you guys think about this ATLTTTTT. Um, and do you guys think that Sheree is going to make it to season 15? It's not looking so good. And remember, um, you can always catch me every day on my website, which is fatgirlsnoop.co. Um, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe because it does so much for my video. And remember my snoopers, it is P-H-A-T as in pretty hot and tempting. Bye for now. Oh, and, and don't forget, you can catch me right here, right here, every Thursday night. I'm with y'all every Thursday, and we're going to have a key key. And I want to see them key key comments, okay? All right, guys, let me get out of here. Um, I love you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Damn! Fat girl. Fat girl. Okay. Fat girl.